104.5, the team, you're home for Big Board Sports, 10 to noon every weekday. And, of course, our friends from the Mighty One Three are the ones who hold that down. Uh, joining us right now for Section Tuesday, Chris Honorado. Uh, you got to see one of our hometown kids uh, on the biggest stage. Yeah, man. Only media outlet from the Capital Region there, I'd like to point out. Really? Ooh. Sunday afternoon, City Field, Jeff Hoffman's return to his home state, his first big league start in New York. And he pitched pretty well. I mean, look, listen, the, the Rockies staked him to a 7 nothing lead <laughs> uh, by the second inning, and they they bounced Steven Matz out of there. But Hoffman was, we got to catch up with him in the clubhouse afterwards. Shaker grad, obviously, number nine overall pick by the Blue Jays a few years ago. Uh, and he was the centerpiece of the trade that sent Tulowitzki to Toronto. Colorado said, we want this kid. Um, and and he, pitched, he pitched pretty well. Six innings, gave up four runs mislocation with a couple of pitches that ended up over the wall but uh like we said he, he had that big cushion right, you pitched that, different that made it comfortable for him hey let me just go out there and throw some strikes uh and he did he, he did say this is a funny story so he did say there are about 40 people from the capital region family friends there to see him pitch he said he felt more nerves before that start than he could remember at any other point in his career wow. because he knew i'm okay i'm back in new york People watch on TV. Yeah, I get that. But if you're in Colorado, who gets in New York? Who gets right. root sports? Nobody, unless you buy the package. So you people make the trip down to City Field. You want to pitch well. So we said, how many tickets did you end up having to get? He said, I only got one ticket. What? Let everybody else fend for themselves. The one ticket I got, my fiance. Aww. Smart man. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, I mean, well, except for the fact that everyone else is mad at him, but who cares? You don't have to live with them. <laughs> true, true. Colorado <laughs> is Slovak guys. One hundred four five. The team. Yeah, I. I mean, it's funny because I would rather have Troy Tulowitzki on the Blue Jays than have to root against Jeff Hoffman. So I like that. I like that he's not in the AL East anymore as a Yankee homer. Guys, does it always come back to him? It's, it's it always a, comes back to Levac. He wanted a lot of guys. Welcome Garrett to Whitley. LeVac and Goss. <laughs> Every guy who's been drafted from the Capital Region tries to figure out why did you right. go somewhere Get else. Get out of the AL East. Right. Or, yeah. or go to the Yankees. I mean, it's oh, simple. You you know. yeah. why? Honorado's after me today. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what did I do? Well, maybe soon to be New York Yankees if trades happen. How about the Valley Cats? Maybe one day they'll be a Yankee and they leave the Astros system. Chad Brown being honored yeah. tonight this upcoming few days with the Valley Cats going Track on. Track season is here boys uh and as roger says and and i have started to subscribe to this theory that means summer is over <laughs> oh, so i hope you enjoyed it you. i hope you enjoyed like it uh summer is done but we have the track to enjoy so friday's opening day chad brown the mechanicville trainer who will defend or at least attempt to defend his saratoga training title this summer uh will be at the valley cats game tonight it is chad brown bobblehead night you've got a picture of it there it's a beautiful Look at that, thing huh? and I need one of those for my desk chad will be there to throw out the first pitch Ooh. now do, what, what do we know about chad brown athletically we don't oh we don't i asked roger during our show this morning uh, Roger has thrown out the first pitch before at the Joe. Have you guys had that opportunity yet? I did it like in a birthday party once. Okay. Not as not as like, you know, yeah. anybody of, of note. But you've thrown a first pitch yeah. with people watching. Yes. So I said to Roger, okay, let's get let's get some advice for Chad. What do you what do you, what's your advice? First of all, you have to throw from the rubber, right? That's you have a given. To. You have have to throw to. From of course. The you have to. He says release high. Yeah, let it float. The last thing you want to do is bounce it. Spike it. Right. Well, that's like what the greatest story uh, in baseball history, in my opinion, is when George W. Bush is about to throw out the first pitch after 9-11. Incredible. And Jeter walks up next to him and goes, bounce it and they'll boo you. And he walks out. Yep. Like, like how, what kind of special do you have to be to be able to taunt the president? And he may have <laughs> never been more popular than that moment. Throw that, the yeah. perfect strike right well, down. And that now, was. And probably now. <laughs> that was. Every former president yeah. is And there. you know what? I can't remember. There is a great, I, I think it was a 30 for 30 short on President Bush throwing out that first pitch at Yankee Stadium after 9-11 uh, in the World Series. And I can't remember now if he did or didn't wear the bulletproof vest. He did. He did? Yes. Okay, because I remember him saying, I, this is uncomfortable, I don't want to wear it. Obviously, the Secret Service right. must have made him wear it. Right, right. Which is funny that you know you can be the most powerful man in the free world and there's still people telling you what to <laughs> right. do. Yeah. Just shows you. Uh, we got Chris Honorado with us. So are you gonna are you going to are you gonna be at the Valley we'll be Cast there, For sure. Absolutely. Do, are you gonna walk up to, to Chad and go bounce it and they'll boo you? Should. You should. I should first make sure you're gonna throw from the rubber, right? Right. Yep. Now if you're not a confident baseball thrower, and again, I don't know Chad's athletic background here, but he has kids. Could you get away with going out there waving, smiling, 
and just letting one of the kids throw it from in front of the mound. That's it's it's a cop out, much yeah. like not throwing from the rubber, right? But it works because it's like when people don't throw from the rubber, I don't even pay attention. Like I say, like, eh, whatever, you know, you didn't even try. Yeah, but wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a cop out, but it could work. Now, if he's smart, he rides out on a horse <laughs> and he just hand delivers it to the catcher. I like that. That's what you do. Just here you go, and, and then you know that's what you're known for. Well, what about you, Chris? Boy, how do we make that happen? Uh, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Horse out on the I don't field. Think the Valley Cats are going to let him get no, this no, winter no. cloud computing down yeah. to the Joe. Yes, <laughs> run in from the bullpen. Yep, and then just toss it on the way by. Right, throw it on the run. Yeah, and yeah. then wave and get get out of there. Just ride straight up. <laughs> Exit 14 to the north way and get ready. Have you ever Good. done it? I, don't uh, I have not. I okay. have not. And as I said to Roger, when we were talking, I said, this is not a, a plea for me to get an invite right. to throw. Um, that's not That's not who I am. It's not what I'm about. But I didn't have any of the, I didn't have that experience to then try to pass it on to Chad. So Roger took care of that for us. You've covered enough of them. You, oh, we yeah. All and know and, and we'll yeah. be there. We'll have video of, of Chad throwing the first pitch, assuming weather doesn't get in the way. I Which, threw out the uh, first pitch four years ago at our annual wiffle ball league I played with my friends, nice. so I assume that counts. Nice. Of course. I mean, I didn't realize we were mm-hmm. being graced with such royalty. Boy, <laughs> ceremonial first pitch for the wi- backyard wiffle ball league. <laughs> Chris, I don't know. You said that, uh, you said that you're, you're buying into the whole this is the end of summer thing. Yeah. You don't really buy into that, right? You're just dealing with, you're I don't, just dealing with Roger too much. Well, no, I don't buy into it for, for uh, I'll, I'll, I'll air quote, normal individuals. But once the track starts, I'm telling you there is no faster month for us as a sports department at Channel 13 than August. Right. Because you have track season. We go to Giants camp for radio and, and, and TV, obviously. Uh, and we're getting ready for you Albany football season, high school football season. It just it's it is a jam packed month. I'm telling you, it goes by in a blink. So yeah, summer's over. It is true because we do the same. We'll be at the track every Friday. We're going to Giants, Jets, Bills, Patriots camp, and then yeah, well, some, Zach's coming to the dark side uh, here. Well, I, uh, I don't I don't know if I can go to Patriots camp. Like I'm kind of no nervous. no no. I mean with the idea that summer's over. No no. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do my. I, remember I, that's why you always take the last week of August off. Yes yeah. See, I, we don't have that luxury. See can't do it. We do we do our Giants half hour special, our Traverse half hour special, and a U Albany football weekly show, all in the span of a week and a half. So it gets crowded, you know, and that's you, the last week you know, of what August. You, do? you say, "Hey, Wyland, how about you carry on wait for a while?" Yeah, and well, do this you know, yourself? I'm telling you, it's <laughs> it's tough now. You know, oh, Roger coming back into the studio. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, hit the drop button there, would you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, so Friday, you guys are live at the track, just like we are. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a blast. What uh, is closer gonna be up there? We're gonna let closer go. Closer, closer will be up there. Yeah. Do you subscribe? To to my belief that if you're going to put somebody on your show as an expert, mm. you have to wager on what they what they pick. No, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. See, well, here's my thing. Like, because we we've built closer as our expert. Okay, that's so, your problem. So right, right. <laughs> but so I believe that if my you know if if the listeners of Levac and Gaz are going to take him as an expert, I have to I, I have to see. venture out too. I see. Otherwise, I'm a hypocrite. You know what I mean? So yeah. you guys don't call him an expert. You just throw him in a room and just tell him to push buttons and be quiet. Yeah, closer closer educates us. There's no doubt about that. But I'm I'm not a I'm not a horse player. I'm really no? not. I enjoy the track. I enjoy the heck out of the track. Uh, but I'm not. I'm. You will not find me at many windows. No, really. No. I'd rather hang with Laduca. We're gonna have Laduca on Paul yeah. Laduca on every Friday at 11:30. So I might just hang with him on Caroline Street or something like that. There are worse ways to spend the track season. <laughs> certainly, can he play for the Mets anymore? They might need him. Boy, maybe they could. You know what? Wouldn't it be great if you could still trade guys you're paying? Like, could the Mets <laughs> trade Bobby Bonilla? <laughs> you know, like unload that contract somehow. That would be nice. But, you, a, but you can only trade him for like reasonable contract. Like, like, like seriously, for it, Phil Jackson. If you're the you Mets, like, them. listen, we we'll, we'll trade Jacob Degrom to you, Houston Astros. You have to take the remainder of Bobby Bonilla's contract. Right. So you're the joke once right. a year, and we're right. not anymore. And it's over <laughs> finally. Think about this with Bonilla. Right now, he's getting paid annually more by the Mets than Bellinger from the Dodgers and Judge from the Yankees combined. It's amazing. Him and DPH are doing. They're doing very doing well. Oh, man, <laughs> just doing business. Yep.
Smart. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, I, I would love to get paid not to play hockey. Sure. <laughs> uh, what's going on the Money 1-3 today? You say you're going to be at the Valley Cats? Got the Valley Cats. Ashley Miller was up in Saratoga this morning getting an interview with Chad, so we'll have that tonight at 6 o'clock ahead of his first pitch. Uh, she also then caught up with Todd Pletcher at his barn. Uh, so we are, you know, we're, we're getting ready, man, for Saratoga season. 11 o'clock, we'll have the highlights, of course, of the Major League games, and then the Valley Cats and that Chad Brown first pitch. We'll see what he does. Yeah. And if uh, you know if a Chad Brown if he ends up on a horse, your, man, uh, that's dude, that's the best. Like at that point, I just I I can't make any more predictions. It's over. We we may have a Chad Brown bobblehead that we could get to you for the right price. If one, if one ends up on you, uh, guys will give you whatever you want. Perfect. I don't uh, have much to give. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, man, we appreciate Thanks, it. Section Tuesday.